So looking back at today, I had a fairly successful day with um, a top four, top four position in team. Uh, we managed to get to the semi-finals where we eventually lost against uh, India. Um, and then the individual fi finals came up, which is uh, something that I worked hard on and, and, and um, really tried to prepare well for. Um, and I think I did quite well, uh, especially looking at the circumstances, but I was knocked out in the quarterfinal. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be a world champion outdoor uh, individual this year, but uh, I'm sure that my career will span long enough that I uh, get another chance and um, next time I'll just be better than I am now. Um, we did mixed team, uh, which was very surprising to me, but uh, I'm super happy to tell you that I was able to uh, get into the gold medal match with Gabi. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the World Championship so far. Uh, I would have just liked to, um, yeah, you know, to, to get a better, a better result individually. Um, with team, I, I think we we sort of deserved to get into the gold medal match, but we didn't quite manage to do so. Um, but we have our tickets, which uh, which was one of my main goals, obviously. Um, so we are going to the Olympics with three people, and uh, well. I'm getting some good results again, and I'm happy with it. So shooting against Korea is always going to be tough. I don't think there is a, there is a situation where you can have an easy going match against Korea. So if we want to beat Korea, we have to come up with something very good. We have to bring our A game, and maybe we have to hope that they won't bring their A game. But yeah, I think if we do shoot the way we can shoot, we have a good chance in both matches. Coming up now, it's the bronze medal match in the Recurve men's team event. Shooting over 70 meters next will be Korea and the Netherlands. Well, here come the Dutch team, and there go the crowd with the biggest cheer so far today. Steve Weiler, the world number two, leading them out. Rick van der Ven, world number 22 in the middle. And and we just heard from Chef Vandenberg. Well, a near three tens after a shaky seven from Steve Weyer to start the Dutch six arrows off. And after three tens from Korea, the Netherlands have pulled it out of the bag and drawn level to share the set point. What a start to this bronze medal match. Second at 10, a nine is enough for Korea to put this out of reach. And it is a nine, a 58 is not a possible target for the Netherlands. Warm congratulations from the Dutch team for the Koreans, Kim Woo Jin. Lee Wu Shuk and Lee Shin Yun have taken the bronze medal here at the Hyundai World Archery Championships of 2019. Coming up now, it's time to find out who will be the champions of the Recurve Mixed Team event. 
crowd are looking forward to this one. It's always a big one between Korea and the Netherlands. So let's get back down onto the range. Quick shot just outside the 10. Kang Che Young with her teammate Lee Woo Suk. What a formidable pairing this is. Great opening from Team Korea. He shot a 10 to finish this off in style. It took them just three sets, but Kang Tae Young and Lee Woo Suk here are the mixed team world champions of 2019. So the matches I shot today were uh, pretty good. Uh, I think uh, we, we did what we could to try and beat Korea. Uh, obviously, Korea is the top favorite to win these competitions. And um, so we had uh, quite a job to do. But I'm, I'm happy with the fourth place that we got. Uh, obviously, I would have liked the medal, but I think we showed that uh, we are one of the top teams and that we belong on the podium or at least in the top, in the top four. Uh, the mixed team event was uh, a bit more difficult for me because I didn't shoot as well. I shot two eights, which, I, um, which I'm not too happy about. But um, yeah, it, like I said, it's, it's always difficult to beat Korea. And we, uh, yeah, we ended up shooting against Korea twice. And yeah, that makes it difficult to win in the first place. So uh, if you shoot some eights, uh, that doesn't help your cause. So I don't think there is a specific way you can prepare for a final where everybody's chanting your name and, uh, and, and cheering you on like this, uh, except for just to, to accept it and uh, uh, yeah, to just expect it beforehand because I, uh, I expected people to, to really enjoy the, the finals and to really uh, make some noise. So it's something that I sort of mentally prepared for. Um, and I think I got a little boost from it as well. Uh, the, the whole idea that everybody on the stands wants you to win is something that feels really nice and, and it's something that like, you cannot really uh, ignore. It's, it's just a good feeling overall. So in hindsight it was it was obviously just a competition, but it felt like it was more of an actual, like it was an event uh, rather than just a competition. So I felt like the whole atmosphere um, had something extra in it. Uh, the, there was like this archery village kind of thing. Uh, it was not just a couple stands on the, on the side of the field, but it was like an actual uh, thing you had to walk through. And uh, there was like a, a nice restaurant next to the water. and. Uh, like a big training field and everything was very close to each other so everything was walking distance um, and I really felt like uh, there was a great atmosphere and, and just a good uh, yeah a good competition overall yeah I feel like uh, the Netherlands left a good impression uh, with this world uh, and, and I feel like people will remember this as one of the nicest worlds they have ever been to So obviously all of the beginning of the season was just preparation for this competition. I mean the World Championships this year was the most important competition that I was going to shoot this year because it, it wasn't only the World Championships but also the Olympic qualifying tournament. 
Um, so now that I have the tickets for, uh, for Rio with the team, uh, I can shoot the rest of the competitions with a lot less pressure. I feel, I feel like a weight's been lifted from my shoulders. Um, I don't know if this is going to help me or if it's going to uh, make, uh, make me even more relaxed and shoot less, but um, I feel good in general and I think the next competitions are just going to be uh, me performing at my highest level and uh, I hope that's true. The most positive point of the week, the most positive thing that happened last week, I would still say is the Olympic ticket that we got because it just it lifts so much weight from the shoulders of, of the, whole, uh, the whole team. If we didn't get the ticket here, we would, have, uh, we would have needed to get the ticket four weeks before the Olympics, I think, uh, with the team. And, and the fact that we have it now just makes all the preparation so much easier. And um, yeah, that's just a, a, a huge relief. So that's the, the best thing that I have uh, from this World Championships.